Hello! Today I'm going to be remaking the video on single shuttle split rings because my old ones with annotations now have lost their annotations because of the new YouTube decisions. So I'm going to start with a, a little ring. The first one can be a normal ring and we're going to carry on making single shuttle split rings. So we'll start as normal. I'm making uh, rings that are going to be split 7-7. Seven, seven. So we're going to make the first 7 stitches as normal. Four, five, six, seven. So that's the first half of our split ring. And now she's going to pull some thread off the shuttle and drop the shuttle at the back of your hand and hang on to the thread here and we're going to make a loop with the thread. And that's we're going to make, be making the other half of the split ring with this loop. So you can either tat, finger tat as they call it, so that would be the first stitch, but I actually prefer to use a post shuttle and put it on my loop here like this. And then it's much quicker to make the rest of your stitches. So I've got one made, I want to make six more. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't need this shuttle anymore, so I'm going to remove it. And now this is the loop you've made the, the uh, stitches with. You want to find the side of the loop that closes the ring. One side closes the ring and the other side pulls on the shuttle thread here. So you don't let the, need that to be long. So there's the loop. So you want to pull on the side that closes the ring like this and keep pulling on the loop. And as you see, it'll be closing the ring at the top instead of at the end here. So you want to keep pulling like this. So there you go, your ring is closed. And now the next step is you want to make sure that this loop is around the base of the shuttle. Sorry, around the base ring I meant to say. I'm going to turn it the other way around so we can... So now what we want to do is pull all this back in by pulling on the shuttle thread, making sure this loop stays around the top of the ring. Can you see? Because that's what's going to anchor it. If you don't anchor it, if you leave it on this side, it'll pull right back right through the stitches and your ring will become undone. So around here, and then we start pulling on the shuttle thread. Keep pulling. Can you see the loop is around here? Keep pulling. Like that until it goes right back in at the base of your ring. So that's your first split ring made. And you can see how the thread now comes out the top of the ring instead of at the base when you make a normal ring. Let's make a second one. Seven stitches as normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you pull some thread off your shuttle, drop it at the back of your hand, but you hang on to this loop. And I'm going to make the first stitch finger tat it, but you don't need to. You can start straight away with the shuttle if you wish, or you can make all your stitches with just finger tatting. But I really like to use a post shuttle, put it on the loop and make my stitches with that. So one, I've got six more to make. Two, three, four. Need a bit more thread really. Let's pull on this and get myself a bit more thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and remove the extra shuttle. And then find the side of the loop that closes the ring. Like this, keep pulling until your ring is closed. Like 
like that. And then you want to make sure the loop is around the base of your ring. And now we're going to pull on the shuttle thread and pull all this extra thread back in. Just do the last little bit trying to show you what happens. Make sure it's just at the base here. Now you have two split rings. That's it. I hope you find this useful. See you next time. Bye-bye.